why we have brought this case to trial. The defendant is clearly <laughs> guilty as charged. Yes, Your Honor, we, the defense, are prepared with our closing remarks. Your Honor, we believe the court has no choice but to find our clients innocent on the charge of prostitution. That's totally what I was thinking. <laughs> My client, Misty Delight, is accused of engaging in the world's <laughs> oldest profession. This then begs the question, if prostitution is a profession, how can it be illegal? No, Your Honor. If you could just, if, if you just, if you just, if you just. <laughs> Becoming a streetwalker has been a career path for women for over 2,000 years. Hmm. I didn't know that. There is evidence of women having sex for profit as far back as the Middle Ages, even Babylon. There were streetwalkers in Babylon? Naturally. They weren't referred to as streetwalkers back then. Instead, they were known as monastery promenaders. And in ancient Greece? Uh, yeah, Parthenon strollers. Rome? Aqueduct strutters. In the Middle Ages, they were known as goat path hikers. And in the Old West, dusty trail amblers. So you see, Your Honor, for this vocation to have persisted for such a long period of time, society must consider it a viable occupation. Oh, ooh. a viable occupation? Does that mean I'm going to have to start paying taxes? Uh, let's break this thing down, shall we, Your Honor? My client is formally charged with prostitution, from the Latin prostituere, meaning to expose publicly or literally. The word comes from pro, meaning before, and statuaire, meaning cause to stand, to establish. And that's what I was thinking. So, after applying the transitive property of multiplication, my client is charged merely with standing before a public exposition, and which- And sometimes I have sex with men for money. So. Your Honor, I object. <laughs> Your Honor, I must concede that my client is clearly a slut. Hey! <laughs> as crowdsourcing my sex life. Y yes, yes, perhaps she is the very definition of lewdness, but being a harlot, Your Honor, not a crime, not a crime. And as you can see, my client is a cute little lass. Oh, and I've got a cute face, too. And I always say that I'm handing out a business card with my cell phone number on it doesn't make me a call girl. It just makes me a girl that one can call. Yeah. Um, I, I, I will also concede that it is not entirely wrong to refer to her as a woman of the night, if only because she likes to sleep in, you know, wherever she ends up. That reminds me. Hey, I think I left my earring at your place the other night. Uh, Your Honor, I object. <laughs> he didn't seem to object when I was there. Your Honor, all of this talk about legal stuff and then how the prosecutor likes to yell daddy while we're banging, it's getting me really confused. Y y your Honor, I will allow that my client is not very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> intelligent? What does that even mean, really? Uh, finally, Your Honor, I admit that my client does, in fact, dress like a whore. But, again, <laughs> is this a, a fashion court? <laughs> Your Honor, I hope the attorney's about to rest. His arguments are irrelevant and ridiculous. Y you know what, Your Honor? I propose that this entire trial has been a huge mistake. There is no specific evidence of my... What's, what's that you say? Yes, Your Honor, I will ask my client to remove her head from your lap. Let's see. <laughs> 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 Guilty as charged. I am never lost to fight my life. I'll send you home crying to your family. 